to do this you just need to drag and drop it you just need to align it to your video clip so that you can see the effect immediately as you can see it already removed her freckles and uh, what is up you guys Ayo it's Lance again on your screen and welcome back to another video if you're new here please hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bell for you to be notified whenever I upload new videos today we are going to review Filmora 11's new update which is the Filmora version 11.5 we have four new features on this new update that will be highlighted in this video which is the quick split mode, the noise feature, new Boris effects, and the beauty filter. Let's start first with the quick split mode. I know that we are used to split our video clips using the split tool which is the scissors icon and it takes a lot of time doing it especially if you have too many parts to trim, right? With this new quick split mode, you can easily split your clips without clicking the split tool or doing Ctrl plus B again and again. You just need to activate quick split mode by clicking this icon and you can start splitting wherever you want. With just one click on a video clip. See? Just like that. You can also go over to your audio clips or other overlays and split them. If your cursor does not recognize any clip, you will see that the quick split mode will be disabled for a while until you point it again to a certain clip. To exit quick split mode, just click its icon again and you will go back on select mode immediately. So you can see you can adjust your video clips now. It's very convenient and it's a very good feature since it could save you a lot of time when it comes to editing your project. Now let's go for the next one. We have here a new feature for our audio track called the noise. This feature allows you to remove unnecessary background noise from your audio recording, especially if you recorded your audio with your fan on. You can get rid of that by using this. To use the noise feature, just head over to your audio track. I made a sample for you guys. Let's listen to it first. So try to listen. What is up, you guys? This is an audio test. Guys, this is so as you can hear, test. there's a background noise coming from the fan. So what you're going to do is to double click your audio track scroll down and select this normal the noise you can adjust it depends on how noisy your background is i'll try to use the maximum labeled as strong and i will also tick this wind removal so that we can get rid of the wind coming from the fan just click ok after you're done now let's try to listen to it and compare from the raw audio recording. What is up you guys? This is an audio test. What is up? As this you can hear, it lessened the background noise, especially the wind noise coming from the fan. So that is how you can use this new the noise feature of version 11.5. And you know this is a lifesaver since it's really hard to record your audio or voice over again. If it's very long and you made a mistake or your recorder got some background noise with this tool you can get rid of those unwanted background noise and have a clear and crisp audio for your content the third one is their new effects plugin called Boris effects you can get these new effects under effects tab click this Boris effects drop down and you can already see the Boris effects, some are labeled as BCC. Alright. So as you can see, they have a lot of uh, effects to choose from. Their new added filters or effects are these new gradients and tints or color grading and tints. So let us see this BCC sunset. So this is our original video. Let's try to add that right here. Oh, sorry try to add this filter or effect sunset effect so as you can see it made some changes on my video clip 
so from this to this after I applied this BCC sunset and that's cool let's try this dual gradient all right so as you can see it's kind of dark this is the original and this is when the BCC dual gradient is applied Boris effects has a total of 118 effects under this one so you can check it out by yourself you can see some BCC lights if you want to add some spotlight right there you can adjust it uh, uh, wherever you want I'm sorry you just double click this effects and you can adjust the light source all right so you can uh, adjust the target like that I don't know how to use this but maybe you guys you know if you are in need of this uh, filter or effect you can go ahead and install Boris FX on your Wondershare Filmora if you want to because this is a plugin so you have to install this and unlock all of the effects that they offer so they also have some plus lights image restoration some blur effects like that let's try this one radial blur so as you can see it blurred my video so yeah if you want to try some of these effects just uh, install Boris effects on your Filmora 11 version 11.5 by the way, if you don't have this video editing software yet, you can uh, download Filmora 11 using the link in the description below. Last but not the least is the beauty filter. Alright, so I have my sample here from Pexels. You can get uh, this sample here on Stock Media and from here, Pexels. So I just search, uh, I searched a model, so we got her. So as you can see, she got some freckles on her face. Let's try to play this one first. So just to show you the effect of this beauty filter, you can go and head over to effects. Right there. Under effects, you can scroll down and go to utility. Alright, this one. So... If you don't see the beautify here, you can search effects, beautify. Alright, so this is the effect that we need to get rid of the freckles on our face, okay? So, to do this, you just need to drag and drop it. You just need to align it to your video clip so that you can see the effect immediately. As you can see, it already removed her freckles and uh, it made her skin uh, glow and uh, it added some you know some blush on it so you can customize it uh, with just need to uh, drag it to the end okay so as you can see it's now uh, applied all right so let's try to play it and compare it from the video earlier which is the raw video clip so as you can see, her face is now clear and free from freckles and it's now more, uh, you know, glowing and smooth because of this beautify filter. So without filter, it looks like this. It's a step up for Filmora 11 to have an effect like this. Actually, you can uh, customize it using these uh, buttons right here. So we have beauty, face, eye, and nose. Let's let let's uh, put it on close up, so you can see the changes. Okay, so on beauty, uh, we can add some uh, red on our face if we want it to get a reddish, just like that. If you want it to be more smoother, you can max it out, or you can just uh, restore it to default. You can always restore it to default. Uh, let's go to her face you can shrink her face if you want to have a smaller face you know you can also shrink her jaw narrow her face shin face shape just like that and shrink cheekbone 
We also have some eye correction, enlarge eye, round eye. If you also want to adjust your nose, you can narrow your nose down. And uh, the nose length, you can... What, what does it do? Let's see. Oh, it made it longer. Oh, let's try to profile rhinoplasty. This is like a surgery, you know, that many people do. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, you know. If it makes their confidence go up, just let them be. Anyway, you can try it all by yourself using this Femora 11. If you already have, you can just update it by using this help and check for update. If it's not updated yet, you you can update it to 11.5 and you can uh, access these new features. So that's it for the new Filmora version 11.5. Let me know what you think about these new features. You can also comment below some suggestions for Wondershare Filmora and I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Ayo, it's Lance and I'm signing off. Peace.